I'm Dr. Jeshri Singh from Mohanlal Sukharia University's affiliated college, Bhopal Nobles PG College. I'm head of the Department of English, a senior faculty. I'm going to deliver the topic, Women Surfacing Their Worth, a study in the movie Ghazni. Before I begin my deliberation, I would like to quote Mahatma Gandhi, if you wish to see the change, bring in the change within yourself. This movie, Ghazni was directed by A. R. Murgudas. Earlier it was a Tamil version and later it was developed into Hindi version. There are two female characters, Sunita and Kalpana. Sunita is a lady doctor who is to research on the psychotic patients and Kalpana is a model and advertising agency. She has this model. She is quite dynamic, frivolous, intelligent, sharp and indeed little bit educated also. And Dr. Sunita who dares to research on the patient Sanjay who is suffering from enterogarde amnesia. The doctor or his you may say mentor, he refused Sunita to go further with her research work with this patient because he has his files in police records as a criminal. But Sunita did not withdraw and she went ahead with her research work. Meanwhile, the story of the film shows us that Sanjay Singhania wants to have his uh, air voice mobile billboard on the apartment of Kalpana's advertising agency. But coincidentally, before he establishes it or installs it, he meets or he watches Kalpana helping other handicapped girls and there were some school sisters or nuns who were confused how to help those young girls. But Kalpana with her dynamism and intellectual sharpness gave the idea that how the crippled girls can cross the gate which was full of bars. Now this story is also a thriller because the doctor who wants to pursue her studies further on the psychotic patient Sanjay comes to know through his diaries that chronicle the memoirs or the accounts of his early life or his love with Kalpana and she founds that why Kalpana died. Kalpana died because she helped some girls around 25 in number from being trafficked through railways and the owner of those girls Ghazni he killed Kalpana. This incident was a revelation to Dr. Sunita and she wanted to help Sanjay Singhania to overcome his tragic fate as well his psychotic disease. Now the objectives of the study is to entail women's significance in socio-cultural development of the society, to search women as role models in reducing the ill practices, to make educated and empowered women aware about their role in society and for the society. For example, in Ghazni, Dr. Sunita, she is an educated and empowered woman. Similarly, Kalpana, who is an advertising model, she too is educated and empowered and there were other nuns who were in education system, they too were educated and empowered. How they were their role models and were helping the society and the women to emancipate. Another objective is to analyze the women's participation and intermediation for resolving sufferings of women in general. To generate responsibility among women to work as stakeholders and to curb male domination. Equal participation of women. Women have been equally participating in all ages and in all generations during revolutions, suffrage movement, freedom struggles and for economic equality. They have been equally shouldering responsibility to perform social roles since the mankind has come into existence as social animals. But unfortunately there is ideological positioning of women and they are treated as subordinate secondary margins, subaltern and silence and weak being at social, cultural, political, economic levels. When woman is not an outsider or alien to society, then why is there an exclusion of her as other or object in the society? So there are many social constraints on women 
especially the educated woman is part of the stern system of patriarchal codes and male superiority. Her involvement in risk taking to protect sufferers is an eyesore for the orthodox traditional and fanatic males. It is a threat to her life. The misogynist, chauvinist and masochistic males never let women to come forward to protect the sufferers. They become violent and vitriolic. Most important, the woman is manipulated to become a tool to exploit the other woman. Educated women, indeed dismantling the old order and their desire of being considered as human, her quality of being human for other fellow beings is stepping her into the sphere of self realization of her identity and her worth of existence in the men's world through education. The economic independence and self sufficiency among women shows that they take risks not only for their ambitions but also for the protection of the suffered, victimized women. They indeed prevent menace the empowered women through the significance of their identity and the experiences of their struggle and survival becomes accountable to their other survivors. The vanceted women, when exposed to social, economic, cultural pressures, become strong-willed to eliminate the inhibitions, insecurities and injustices. They are channelizing the support system to strengthen, to carry forward the battle of emancipation and they are not only approaching and enlightening others and guiding as the torch bearers to help the, the suppressed voices which has been dominated by the male dominated society. So in conclusion I would like to quote Marlene Munro who says that I don't mind living in a man's world as long as I can be a woman in it but I need protection and self-independence and self-sufficiency. Thank you.